Hello everybody and thank you for checking out my article in the November edition of Shutter Magazine. This particular article, we're talking all about building the infrastructure that is gonna support your business. Now, I have talked about this in previous articles before, but I went a little more in depth and there's a couple things that I just really wanna to touch base on in this video and expand on some of these topics. And the first thing, and I believe the most important thing, is the client relationship manager. Now, why is that so important? The customer or client relationship manager or CRM as we, uh, I tend to call it, is a uh, organizational tool that you absolutely have to have in your photography business. And it really doesn't matter what type of business you're running. This probably should be the first investment that you, uh, that you make into your business. And the reason for that is because it gives you data and it gives you access to data. Now, I want you to understand before I go in depth into this that not all of these CRMs are created equal. And that is really important for you to understand. Some of them don't give you the, uh, the necessary business analytics that you need at your fingertips um, to be able to make decisions. In fact, many of them are very good at doing things like giving you contracts and uh, email templates and all stuff like that. But at the end of the day, those are not going to be the most effective types of CRMs because they do not include the business analytics that you need to make informed decisions into your business. Now, for instance, what do I, how could you use this? What are some ways that you can use this to make better decisions? Well, um, we'll talk for one, and one of the most obvious ones I would say is going to be uh, your lead sources. So if I wanna know what form of advertising that I'm using that has become the most effective, I'm gonna look at my CRM and I'm gonna see over the last three months which uh, particular lead source has not only produced the highest number of leads, but also my conversion rates at the same time. So uh, to give you a little bit of perspective, back about 2018 or 2017, one of those years, we were looking through our lead sources and I saw that the knot was providing me a ton of leads. We were getting a lot of leads from the knot. However, I found out that those particular leads were only giving us a 5% conversion ratio as opposed to the people who found us through referrals that were giving us a 50 to 60% conversion ratio. So rather than invest much more money and time into the knot, I decided to put more effort into building the local relationships in my, in my particular community. And that paid off dividends. And had I not known uh, that data, I would have just been operating my business based on my feelings as opposed to the actual hard data and um, in understanding how important that that absolutely was in my business for making decisions. And I've said it many, many a times, uh, if you have data, whatever gets measured gets improved. And when you're able to make informed decisions about your business, that's how you're gonna be able to improve it year over year. Uh, it's important to understand there are a couple of metrics that you have to pay attention to. And we already talked about a couple of them. Number one, the total amount of leads that you're getting in your business. That is a really, really important metric because it gives you an idea of if your advertising is working or not, if you're able to produce more, uh, more results. The second most important uh, number that you have to pay attention to is going to be your conversion ratio because having a lot of leads is only part of the equation. The other part of the equation is making sure that you're able to convert those leads. And when you have those two numbers, then you basically have the formula that that you need to scale your business. You, for instance, if you're getting 10 leads and 20 of those are converting, then all you need to do is get 20 leads and then you'll have doubled your business essentially, right? You understand your conversion ratio and now you're gonna book four weddings or four, four shoots. So understanding those numbers will put you on the right path to making sure that you are able to uh, achieve your goals and scale your business appropriately. Now in our article, we talk about a couple of other things for organizing and infrastructure and things that are gonna be important um, for scaling your business. One thing I wanna really, really focus on right now is your production discipline. This is really important, and I may have talked about this in a past Shutter Magazine article, but what I really wanna focus on today is explaining to you how important and what kind of impact this has on your business. Now, what do I mean by discipline in terms of um, your production? I mean, when you go out and you do IPS or in-person sales and you sell a package of prints, how are you making sure that you're delivering on that package of prints in a timely manner? manner. And I know a lot of you are going to say, well, the client comes in, they order prints and I place the order right away. And that's all fine. If you have one or two uh, jobs coming in a week, it's not too hard to keep track of. But when you have 20, 30, 40 jobs coming in or 40 sales coming in a week, which you will get to, I promise you, a lot of you are already starting to see measurable improvement as you've been paying attention to your business the last couple of years. But once you get to that point where you're doing a higher volume of sales, this organization becomes a lot more important. Now, 
You can do this a couple of ways. You can set up your production tasks as part of your CRM. A lot of them have a, um, a task list or a workflow feature that you can kick off every time you sell a package, for instance, right? Or you can use a tool like Asana or Monday or Trello to make sure that you're keeping track of your production. But if you start a process now while things are not crazy busy for you, as you scale your business, you're gonna find that more often you're gonna be able to stay on top of these things. And I just wanna, I always like to share with with you guys uh, things that have happened in my business. Remember, for those of you who don't know my business or me, we scaled our business very fast. Within the first couple of years, we went from losing money to making half a million dollars a year. But the problem with that scaling is that it came with a lot of problems. I didn't know how to organize my production. It was never an issue. Photographers never talked about it, right? And we were navigating these waters alone. And I'm here to tell you today, you don't have to do that. I'm showing you the mistakes that we made. Those mistakes nearly cost me my business as I had a, skew, a slew of clients who were very upset set um, that we were not able to deliver their products in a timely manner. So don't do that. Learn from my mistakes and make sure that you guys get off to a much better start. There's a lot of good information in the article. If you have not had a chance to check it out, go through the article, see all of the different tools that I recommend. And if you have any questions, like always, please drop them in the comments down below or email me at mike at elevateyourphotography.com. Thank you so much and we will see you in the next issue.